Well, on Tuesday, the Dow dropped more than 600 points in midday trading as investors feared the potential impacts of the Omicron variant. Since then, the market has been clawing back as assessments seem to waver by the hour. To help us make sense of this frenetic exercise, we have invited stock market analyst Dennis Brewster to join us once again. Dennis, so good to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you, Jim. Thank you. So how crazed are investors in the stock market? <laughs> well, you know, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster, a COVID roller coaster. Uh, the markets have always been unpredictable in the short run. And, uh, you know, certainly the last year and a half has been no exception to that. Well, I like the way that you phrase that, that they have been unpredictable in the short run. Why is the market so sensitive in that short run? Because for those of us outside the market, even, you know, we have 401ks that are invested in the market. It makes everybody feel jittery, like, oh, the world is coming to an end. Yeah, it's hard not to feel that way when you get in the middle of a decline. And I, I think a couple of factors. One, when you look at how much we've moved up over the last year and a half, uh, the Dow's gone from 22,000 to, you know, somewhere over 34,000. So, it, you know, we're a little bit ripe for a decline. It wouldn't be too unusual to experience one. And then you, you know, layer the whole unpredictable COVID situation on top of that. And it, you know, it makes for an anxious environment. And the market uh, appears to respond almost to the second. Like a uh, word will come out about something. Mm -hmm. In fact, we just had this announcement about the Omicron variant being found in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Would we anticipate the market is now going to go into a dive because of that? You know, it, it, again, it wouldn't be unusual to see it come down just given how much we've moved up. But I think the hard part for most individuals is not overreacting to those short term movements and not confusing your long term plans or long term goals with what's going on in the short run. And that, that's always been one of the bigger challenges. And I, I don't think this period that we're in now is any exception to that. Is there another side to it, though? Volatility, of course, is scary, but does it also provide opportunity? Exactly, right. It, it, exactly. Every crisis or every decline presents an opportunity. And that's what I think, really, if you're a long-term goal-oriented investor, that's where you have to keep your focus. Uh, if it's money you need in the short run or that you might need in the short run, it doesn't belong in the stock market. And you know, now would be as good a time as any to take advantage of that. And, you know, get it, get it ready and maybe get it out of the market. We do hear, though, if you're in the 401k, which uh, many Americans are, and there are mm -hmm. a distance away from retirement, sure. it is steady as she goes. Yeah, if you're in a 401k, you're planning for your retirement. Remember, even when you retire, most people have another 20 years in front of them. So, you know, again, keep that focus long term. And it's just easier said than done when you get in periods like this. In preparing for this interview today, I saw came across a graph that was, you know, comparing mm -hmm. those that try to play the market, time it just right, take their money out or put it in according to what the market seems to be doing, moving one way or the other, right. compared to those that just stayed in it throughout the ups and downs. And those are the folks that appear right. to do better. You agree with that? Oh, I, I, I couldn't agree more. I've seen it firsthand. I uh, did. The last thing you want to do is try too hard when it comes to investing. It, the, the results are usually worse instead of better. Stock market analyst Dennis Brewster, great to see you again, and thanks for uh, keeping us on an even keel. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Jim. All right, we'll see you again.